This program is called Global Harmonization and the Hazard Communication Standard. It is designed for those who work with chemicals and for emergency personnel who respond to incidents in which chemicals may be involved. The program will discuss the changes that global harmonization has brought to HAZCOM. It will show the classification system for physical and health hazards of chemicals and mixtures and requirements for labels, including pictograms and signal words. The program will also examine what are now called safety data sheets and show how the format has changed from material safety data sheets. The Global Harmonization System of Classification and Labeling of Chemicals, or GHS, provides a logical approach to defining the health, physical, and environmental hazards of chemicals, and for communicating that hazard information on labels and safety data sheets. Under GHS, all countries that adopt the system will have the same information on hazmat labels. Among the countries using this system are Canada, the European Union, Japan, Mexico, China, and New Zealand. GHS reduces trade barriers, making the U.S. more competitive in foreign markets. Conforming to GHS requires modification of other OSHA standards. For example, modifications have been made to standards for flammable and combustible liquids, and to most of OSHA's substance-specific health standards. Other U.S. agencies adopting the Global Harmonization System include the U.S. Department of Transportation, which already uses the U.N. model on transport of dangerous goods, the Environmental Protection Agency, which regulates pesticides, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Standards-making organizations are also moving to incorporate GHS in their work. Labels use both text and pictograms to portray the hazards of chemicals, making the hazards easier to understand. And a single label and safety data sheet works for both U.S. and international shipments.